You've got questions? Andrew Mason has the answers. This is Mason's Mailbag, presented by Prime Sport. Greetings from the bold north. That's what they're calling it here for Super Bowl 52 Minneapolis. I'm Andrew Mason. Thanks for joining me here. Of course, we're here to cover the Hall of Fame announcement on Saturday. John Lynch, Brian Dawkins, both finalists. But first, let's take a couple of questions. First one up from Dustin Palmer. Say we get the quarterback of the future locked up through the draft of free agency. What do you say is the biggest hole in the roster that needs an immediate fix? Well, I think you'd have to look at right tackle just given what the Broncos went through last year, cycling through so many players at the position. Of course, you had Menelik Watson early, but then he was injured, and then it sort of went from there. You saw Alan Barber there, Donald Stevenson there, Cyrus Quanijo there by the end of the season. So you want to get some stability at right tackle one way or another. But that being said, other needs may pop up. For example, look at inside linebacker. You know, you've got Corey Nelson and Todd Davis, both due to become unrestricted free agents. If they both move on, all of a sudden, you've got a hole at the other inside linebacker spot next to Brandon Marshall. So what may look like the most pressing need now may turn out to not be the most pressing need even a few days into the league year. So it's a little bit of a moving target, but certainly when you look at how things are right now, given the issues at right tackle, injuries, instability, that's an area that you want to fix. And beyond quarterback, I think that's a high priority for the Broncos heading into this offseason. Next question, this one from Rex Helmsing. Connor McGovern has become a very versatile offensive lineman. What role do you see him taking on in 2018, starting guard or backup guard and center? Well, it's a good question. Certainly, he played well down the stretch when he was thrust into the starting lineup because of Ron Leary's injury. And you're going to have Ron Leary back, but then at the other guard spot, what do you do? You've got Connor McGovern, you've got Max Garcia. Could they end up fighting for a spot? That's entirely possible. Now, Matt Paradis is a restricted free agent at center. I expect he'll be back, so I would imagine at minimum that Connor McGovern is going to be backing up Matt Paradis heading into 2018, assuming the Broncos can get Paradis back. But then, if it's status quo at guard, if the Broncos don't bring in a potential starting guard in free agency or via the draft, I would expect Garcia and McGovern to have a competition at one of the guard spots with Ron Leary entrenched at the other. And hey, may the best man win. Certainly, Garcia showed some flashes in 2017. So did Connor McGovern. Whichever one develops the most could end up being a starter in 2018. Thanks for the questions. If you want to join us next week, go to denverbroncos.com slash Mace's Mailbag or find me on Twitter. I'm at Mace Denver. Use the hashtag Ask Mace or listen to me every weekday with Steve Atwater and Ryan Edwards on Orange and Blue 760. It's first and 10 at 10 from 10 to noon, Monday through Friday. Until next time, take care and thanks for watching.